Ladies and gentlemen, sorry about the extended delay, but we have everything sorted and it is going to be Metal Valor in 2021, proudly presented by Optus and Torrance University of Australia. Coming into this week three, game two between Glenn Waverly, secondary, no, sorry, Dillacell, Rispy Heights against Prairwood. Now, obviously, the results have already been shown because Prairwood was not able to make it on time. However, both sides have said we still want to play for this match and we want to go hard into tonight so this is still going to be happening we are still going to be playing everything out as a show match so obviously dlsl has already won this but they still want to show us some pog plays and they are going to give some extra experience onto the side of prairiewood high school now the attacker side is going to be prairiewood high school and it's going to be a map of haven now obviously this is the typical map where you have three planting sites if you can take me control that's always one of the better things to do one of the better controls of the map as an attacker and for a defender side this is actually a lot harder for you to swing around because obviously if you don't get the a into the de quite defense and then you invest too heavily into the b into mid you might just miss out so we will see how a big strong school like dlsl risby heights is able to hold this as defenders now obviously coming back from dlsl college you already have how we obviously he's a pop champ himself you got lokoto dakoko res grammar akeno himejima and isa hyodo and on the attacking side pro high school you have songjo power poker yuki you have nc and kaguya and looking at the way that they are setting up as defending on the side of dealer sale, you see they are going for the maximum amount of damage and this is going to be going for a lot of pivotal dueling. And on the side of attacking, I want to see what Pro was able to start with this. Obviously, you do have a lot of utilities, you do have the dueling, you have the jet to start everything really quickly. We will see how many B confirms that they can get and swing the size into A. But obviously, if they do fall, it is going to go straight back down to C. That goes there. Oh, this is a nice spot. This goes here. Yes, this should do. Yes. Okay, so currently we're just waiting on this game. It's actually taking a long time to load for me. <laughs> but it's okay. Eventually, we will get this show started. It's a little bit scuffed, but I think that's going to be just fine. Spike down, see. Riot. Embarrassing. Uh, One enemy remaining. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so guys, if you haven't followed Meta HSC, make sure to give us that big, massive support and follow us onto twitch.tv forward slash Meta HSC2 and Meta HSC1. We're like, easy peasy. That's just only one button. Press it. Love it. And make sure to switch everything on for us. This is... <laughs> Twitch chat. Obviously, insert everything. All your loves for all the teams that you want to be uh, supporting. If you have something to share, make sure to clip it as well. Any little bit of information shall help us. Last player standing. Still in sight. Um, <laughs> I believe I'm actually stuck at the loading screen.
Yeah. Get out of my way. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight off from Discord live. Thank you very much for the quick piece on Black Neko. And <laughs> we've already had two rounds open. Nice. So Poker instantly with the old gear on Howie. And Howie wants to return this favor. Does not get anything so far. The final member. I've just seen this. He does get one. There's a reset. There's a lot to be desired, but oh, he is going to grab another one of the NC. So he has lots of info to work with. And at the same time, can he get it right here? One of three, no, Kaguya is going to be the one to finish him off. And that is just going to be the first time that I've seen everything. That's actually half the run that I've seen. Ever since I've been stuck, thank you very much, uh, Valorant. It doesn't really want to work for me. And I don't, I can't rejoin this as a caster. Nice. So it's fine. Right now, looking at this, it's 3 to 0. Howie up there with Poker, both with lots of kills at 7 and 6. And wow, you do have a lot of people almost ready with all of their ults on the side of Herwood High School. You do have the guns coming in on both sides, and obviously I'm going to believe that this is the first time Dilla Cell has had access to their guns, so we'll be seeing one to be going straight up. Akino is going to go down to Kaguya, and the dueling, that's from mid, and at the same time, they are going to go for an A convert. And Sanjo Pao, has spotted Easter Hildo, he's going to try to attack as well, but Yuki is going to be the one to finish him off, and at the same time, Rest Grimory is here. Think can be online local to Tucker has been taken as well, and oh it's God. just gonna be 2v4. And they have to convert Rest Grimory. Can he get anything right now? He's gonna really quickly go up to heaven to attack that one. Howie attack from the bottom. Howie! Through all that distraction! He's gonna kill Grimory in blind. The NC is gonna attack him down. And Rest Grimory jumps down. One on one situation. Still see anything from the cage, but he's still gonna attack that. And that is gonna be a massive turnaround. Wow. Ah. Okay. The clutch from Rias. That was unbelievable. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. A lot of the times, I actually tried to leave and rejoin before when I was casting, and it did not work. It just kicked me out straight from the game and left me with the option. Uh, to just sit out there and just be quiet. But at the same time, it's gonna be fine. Uh, we are just gonna be taking this. Who cares, you know? That's what I say. Right here, we are ready. We have three ultimates ready on the side of Korea Wood. They have three, they have the resurrection up, and it means that they can go for it. Right now, it's gonna be the B convert. Poker doesn't really get anything just yet, but there is gonna be a trade between Sanjay Power and Aquino. And at the same time, B has been taken aggressively. Howard takes the first one. There is an open by Risk for He's gonna be the first one to get there. Easy Hudo gets taken. Right now, they do know it's a 2-2, two two, and Kaguya gets two. And that's not get the final one. Risk Grimory turns it around. Seven health left. That's a one-on-one -on -one against Brim. And what are they gonna do? Well, obviously gonna quickly get the plant. All right, this is anyone's game. Obviously, he does have his ult, doesn't really need to invest it at all. He's plentiful happy with the current loadout that he has, and he's very, very chilled. Obviously, if he doesn't get connected to the head, depends on how Rears Grimry is going to be able to spot him. Right now, his position is at hell, if you he can't see it. All right, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to grab anything on the fake, and Rears Grimry is just going to be trying to pull him under the back. And it's pretty much not much uh, that the round's just going to be going 4 to 1. Here's going to be the flash, Rears checking around. Here's the one fake, and yeah, no. NC is going to take him. Doesn't get anything else out of it. And we'll go with it. He also falls, but uh, that's just what you do. You secure the route. That's the objective. Three rounds deficit. And obviously, judging on the side of the credits, we're seeing De La Salle, Rizvi Heights. First time having a rather slower start for tonight's match. Uh, a little bit unusual for their side right now, but nevertheless, this is still a show match. And we are here to see exactly what they're capable of. They're looking for most of the jewels. And right here, Kaguya. Kaguya from window jumps down, and they're going to keep on playing this B. Although the flash is here, Poker is going to grab one, 
in return. The trait is okay, but they need a little bit more. And they might just get a Kino trying to re rotate out, gets caught. At the same time, nice angle coming from Loco to Taco. Power with ult. Does want to make the play in the end. Kago is pretty much stuck here against Ise. It depends on if we can get this saved up. Ult has been used. And that is also going to be Kaguya being stuck. So it's a 2 on 2. And the bomb is going to be, well, pretty much living to see. Alright. Are we going to be seeing it? Alright, so NC is going to quickly invest into the utilities, quickly get everything out, clear the corners. They want the spike to be planted at the minimum. Howie re rotating. They should be able to hear every noise here. And Howie, they are slowly just waiting. Can they get any shots through it? Nothing just yet. Nothing significant. Gotta wait on, until it. But Loco trying his best to make a play. Gets taken, and same as Howie. And that. It's going to be another round to the Prairie Wood. Prairie High School. Yeah, it's, that's really, really decent. Really, really decent. For the first time, I have not seen DLSL lead the play. Usually, they're the stronger team. And right now, if Prairie Wood uh, High School is able to continue this loadout all the way towards the end, man, they're probably kicking themselves and thinking, why wasn't this done first? <laughs> Why didn't they make it? Just a few minutes would have made all the differences. But it does not matter right now. It is four rounds to work with. It's a round of Yuko coming from the side of De La Sale. Alright. Let's go. We are looking at a replay here. We're looking at a quick, aggressive take. And we might just get some very soon. You see most of the members, they are trying to make a jewel and a pick here. Out in mid, not going to get any responses. And they know it's going to be the weak investment coming in. They're going to quickly take out Loco and through the window. That's pretty much going to be jumped upon. Poker takes an easy kill. And at the same time, Riz Grammar, very, very low, tagged up. Sanjay Power has invested onto the Cypher ult. And that is going to be a rather really quick round. Spike planted. Okay, so I'm gonna assume, I'm just gonna assume that currently this is exactly what's gonna happen in the way <laughs> of Prairie Wood. They're gonna get aggressive into that mid, getting the control, obtaining it every single round, and push the LSL onto the deficit round after round. Ise here with a pistol, trying to make a miracle. Oh, he does see it! He sees and see. And oh, he's gonna grab it. All right. One kill against four. Not enough to go for the push. <laughs> uh, NC is having a mad laugh going, what happened there? Uh, obviously, the route is still going to go to the attacking side. And Issa Hildo, the only person to be staying alive here, is saying, all right, we'll take the gun. Not going to be able to do anything else. Uh, apparently, this is going to be the round of buy from Dillacell. We are looking at what they can't get everything. Um, hmm. Where's Grimry? Where is your gun? Let me see something. Let me see something right now. Five more seconds. <laughs> Don't be that one. Don't be that one person. Okay. Okay. Lucky. He has bought. Alright. Looking at this conversion. Howie is trying to go for a massive long A shootout. At the same time, Loco, having no responses, can't really do anything from Garage. Every time he sees all these people pushing him, he has to back up. Meanwhile, Sisa has been taken, and Kaguya is going to be the one to win it out. However, Loco doesn't get the things he wants. Yuki is going to be picking up a double, and at the same time, it's going to be 4-2. to two. Prairiewood High School. They are starting to run away with the match. It is a show. They have turned up late, but they are here to play. Empress has been activated by Yuki. That's when it gets super aggressive. One all left on the side of Dillacell, but Dillacell right now, I don't think he can do anything on Akina. Akina, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> uh, was stopped halfway. Kaguya from the corner takes him down. Okay, looking looking at the kills, how we on ten and the three players from Prewood, Yuki, Kaguya, and Poker, ten each. Alt ready for Poker once again. There is the alt coming from Rio Screaming and Akino. Safe that from last round. They need to make everything count. Obviously, they have they can buy. 
into this and they are looking to get the ultimate revenge but right now the six rounds is not swing anyone any favors get out of my way. here we go play storm activated Akira, first one off to the board does pick him up and that's one rise all it's not gonna be taken at all loco finally disables poker but at what cost one for the price of three that yuki has been taken down uh, but however, Kaguya holding a nice angle onto Loco, gets him down, streaving to his death, and how we from the side, swings first, the spike gets dropped, down. that's actually huge. Okay, what is the response, Prewood? It is 2-1, to one. they do have a resurrection. If they choose to rest here, they are able to go for either the trade. Okay, here we go, there is the res, and two taps, Howie! Howie! That was insane. That was an absolute insane play here. And he has activated his Blaze Swarm. It's, right now, I'm going to say Howie is on a high. He's rolling into it. But NC finds him first and shuts that down. They're still going to get it. Oh. That was just huge for both sides. For once. For once just then. How we re enabled the whole team until a sale. It was almost getting it there. But it's just fine. It is just fine. Once again, seven rounds deficit. This is the buy coming in from Dilla Sale. They have three ults. It is time to use them. Time to invest. They are trying to get aggressive. How we comes out for the trade. Akino is gonna finally swing one Riz Grammar picks up the second. And this is the round that they were looking for. Four to two. Can they get this? Can they get this right now? They're shooting and BMing themselves in the middle. They, they don't really care. But, uh, you know, <laughs> that's going to be just fun. The spike has already made his way to A. <laughs> and see, and see, he is uh, holding back. <laughs> oh my god. You know, kills Rius. Boy, Sanja of Hell goes for the trade here, spike and the spike gets dropped at B, and let's see he picks up for the better go. The Vandal in your hand doesn't connect. It's a hero. He's gonna clean him up, and that's gonna be eight to two. Two more rounds left before the switch, and we will see if Dilla Sale is actually taking it easy or were they a little bit lax into a nice show match. <laughs> Now, uh, guys, it's not a one-man job. We actually do have casters on the ready right now, but because it is a show match, it is not the official one casted. It is going to be fun. We're just having some fun. We're having the late night playing. And if you look at the guns, we have the big operator picked up by Kaguya. Kaguya on 13 kills, looking for the biggest things. And Rise instantly, instantly getting the ult activated. First one onto the block, and Akira instantly goes down. The race doesn't even get the shot off. And Yuki does get put down. Kaguya going forward. Getting very aggressive with this operator. One would think he would want to try to aim really high in the beginning without any utility to back him up. And that is actually really big play here. Really aggressive, but he's going to connect it to Howie anyway. Poker instantly gets the trade. And Rias, Rias wants to get something from this drift. Does he... Not really gonna get anything out of it, but uh, right now at this stage, it's not going their way. The spike obviously gets delivered to A, and this control from mid is gonna prove all sorts of problems for the side of Delacel. Delacel, the response is not gonna be there. Okay, <laughs> uh, this is rather tough, and Rias slowly walking forward. Does he get something? <laughs> He knows, he knows this round is pretty much lost, and at the same time, <laughs> if he can pick one up, right? If he can pick one Kaguya up from the operator, could just be it. He swings it, he grabs it. That is huge. At least it's an operator. <laughs> yeah, at the same time, he is here, Sanja Pal. Oh, they are gonna grab a kill here, and Sanja Pal. Let's get the trap wire activated to Rius, and that's just gonna be the clutch coming in. Both sides didn't do too badly, but 
Um, yeah, the operator is going to be safe from the hands of Sanjo Pao. Things would have been a lot different if the trap bar wasn't there. But well, obviously, it is 9 to 2. And this is the final round of the first half. Seven round deficit. De La Salle, the strong team here, still want to play for the show match. Not really getting what that they were looking for. So we will see if Prewood is going to be able to continue this. Alright, Kaguya first up. Let's see. On the long. Doesn't get the shot. And Loco is going to grab a poker. Takes one out. Yuki is going to pick up Rears. At the same time, Yuki gets super aggressive. Jumps down from the window with that massive drain here. And Yuki. Yuki going up here and jump jumping. But oh, Akina picks up poker. And at the same time, Howie has made it from the side. Oh, barely misses the headshot onto Sonja Power. And Sonja Power instantly lost one back. Hasn't really been successful as well. And they know that this plenty is going to be a C. But in order for them to go forward, that's going to be a big rocky mountain. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> All the players here are trolling around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. They are going to set up the massive blockade. <laughs> And they're also gonna <laughs> invest in the older themselves. However, they're still gonna win 10 to 2. <laughs> Switching sides. Okay, so we are gonna have the side switch. Oh, approval high school. They are quickly going to be the <laughs> the trolling team. I, I I have to see that in the clips. I have to see that one more time. That was just too crazy. That was way too crazy. Okay, we'll see if Dilla Cell is behind us. He's able to swing it back. They are down eight rounds. This is the pistol. It all comes down to this. As soon as they grab it, they can run away with the rounds after rounds, just like how Pre High School was playing. However, if they do not, and they're going to give the advantage over to Pre Wood, Pre Wood is just going to be able to get gone up as defenders. And that is going to be a very tall order for them to work with. Here we go. Oh, the dueling is terrible! <laughs> Dilla Cell, they are only gonna get one back onto the Yuki, but Sonja of Hell connects onto Yusei Hildo anyway! Loco, super low, gets taken, and now it's just <laughs> 4 on 1! One. It is a disaster! Howie! What a play! Comes from the back, my voice is dying, but I don't care! 18 health, 1 on 1 duel here. And she knows exactly where the spike has been dropped. And how he has to go and challenge this in the dark. And it's just going to be pulled down. 11 to 2. For one second, Howie was starting to look like the biggest MVP. Swing round after round back. But right now, the economy is going to go to the side of Prewood. 11 to 2. They are going to have the early guns. They are going to have the early armors. They are buying the full. They are investing. The utility is good. We will see if they're able to close this show match up. Okay. And here we go. De La Salle looking to defend on a round of Yuko. They are going to stack the A long and push from behind. Oh my god. This is stack A to stack C. <laughs> Oh my god, can they find it? The spike is here! The spike is dropped! That is just disastrous! Everyone came from the back here and they have to deal with all the big boys. <laughs> Rias has sort of this and uh, has to go and challenge. Four gun players. Four gun players. Oh, with Ares equipped. Rias Grimry, can you do a miracle here for us? Please. He's in a better position. Might just be able to pop. Has seen poker. Okay, slowly take his chest. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so he's not gonna bother as well. I don't think this I don't think uh, they are just gonna be going for this. He's a Hildo also here. Since Riz Grimmery is like, why are you here? <laughs> they will, I think we we'll have established this. Right now Dilla Sales looking for the uh, for the knife. Yeah, you, you can keep shooting out the Leer and uh, there's nothing you can do right here. The spike is just not going to be picked up. They are trolling each other in terms of teams. 
Prayer Wolf just wants to get the guns and they just want to close themselves up. Rears get stuck. <laughs> uh, that is rough to watch. And we have nothing short of a fiesta, ladies and gentlemen. You say Hildo does pick one up. Here we go. Air is blasting the wave, takes one in. <laughs> <laughs> that such a fell is gonna grab that kill and we have 10 map points to be taken What game are we playing? Valorant? <laughs> are you sure? I don't think we're playing Valorant anymore <laughs> Oh boy, okay, so this is the gun ground This is the gun ground coming from DLSL DLSL gave us a show where they are just, uh, I don't know if they're fully trolling or taking this seriously, but Pro will definitely uh, is showing up. And look at this! They are all just stuck here, burning themselves. They want to damage themselves first, and yeah, both teams are just having some fun. They know it's a show match. Sandra Pell goes down, Akira picks up too. Oh, oh man, who needs enemies when you have teammates like this? Oh, and the pump goes through! Get George! Yuki! Yuki doesn't get any more here, but it's NC against two. NC gets one more! It's just Howie! The spike is also still four. And uh yeah. It's a Hildo. Can you drag this out? It's a Vandal. Vandal against Judge! And yes! Oh my god, NC is gonna grab a 30 to 2. I don't even know what stats I need to be throwing up right here, but uh, I think this has become one of the more funniest and the most meme-fested um, Valorant match we've ever had. <laughs> if we're going to be talking about MVP right now, I guess it's just going to be Poker. Poker and how I, I reckon one of these two is give it to them. We don't need to fully showcase it, but this is the full show match. One massive report button for both sides. Uh, but yes, it was a show match. Having a lot of fun. Guys, if you are attending a high school and you're not playing this competition, or if you want to get involved, make sure to start racing this case with your principals and everyone else so you can get this one up there. Obviously, if you are someone who is attending the same high school and you want to get everything out there, make sure to contact the team captain and say, I want to be involved in the next season of Meta HSE. So congratulations to Prairiewood High School on the attacking, getting 13-2 against De La Salle, but ultimately it was a disqualified because of timing, and so De La Salle is going to automatically pick up that win. And so we will be right back. We're going to go into a quick break. For about 12 minutes, we go into our third and final map of the night between Glen Webley Secondary College on the attack against Lakeview Senior College on the defending team. So we will see you then. And we'll be right